Oh, wow. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Sisters of the Mystical Tarot. And um, we're so happy to have all of you here. Tonight is my night with my topic, and I'm excited to be here. And uh, I had a wonderful uh, experience uh, being on with Michelle in the last hour and a half. And so thank you to those who have come over here from there. And uh, we appreciate you. And to Marina for for uh, helping me do logistics. So thank you. And look who we got here. We got Miss Jerry. We got the traveling lady. Yes. <laughs> I made it home alive. Made it. Yeah. Just the traveling pants, right? I'm never going to yes. travel during... I'm never going to travel during Mercury retrograde again. <laughs> that you know, that's a good idea, Sherry. I, I have to say. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Like yeah. I said, Saturday night for my night owls, late night, I'm going to, from the You're time we took off it. until That's the time great. we pull back in the drive, I'm going to recount the whole trip. Y'all are going to awesome. flip. <laughs> You're going to flip <laughs> and you see everything we went through and all uh -huh. the little near misses, near misses. It's like at one point, Lewis was, my son was like, Oh, somebody's watching out for us. I said, yeah, we got Michael yeah. and Gabriel riding shotgun Absolutely. back here. Absolutely, riding shotgun. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, so let's say hello to our sisters. We have Marina from Heart Center yeah. Tarot here with us this yeah. evening. And going next to her, of course, is Val from uh, Dragonfly Crystals, Next Level Channeling. Yeah. Underneath Val, we have Sharon from Strawberry yeah. Rhubarb Anomaly. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberry rhubarb pie. Anyway, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we have our Sherry from Voices from the Swamp, who is back Hi in there. the swamp right now. She's back in the swamp. So with a sunburn on one side of my body. <laughs> yes. Oh, look, so, I have um, to show y'all this. Uh Juno made this for me because I, I was able to stop and see her. Oh, she crocheted oh, this. Yeah, she's that so wonderful. Too? crafter she really really oh is. absolutely yeah. i was just yeah. floored when she was like well no i got something for you oh that's so nice that's wonderful thanks for sharing so let's say hello to some folks we got with us tonight and then we'll go into our topic and um i didn't get any questions from anybody did you guys get any questions this week from there anybody? yeah you know what oh. there was one and okay. i um I actually have it right up on um, on top, and okay. I can, yeah. When it in when the time when comes, comes fine, okay. yeah, I can I can show it. But All right. um, that's fine. yeah from Rose Blue. So yeah, okay, excellent. So uh, we have a uh, Froxy Roxy here with us tonight. Thank you for being here, and Willow yeah. Love. And on, on the other show, she just uh, forgot she was boiling eggs, and they turned into rocks, and oh. so she. <laughs> She said she might use them as golf balls. So, oh, good go. plan. <laughs> so, Willow, I did she see can that. throw them down a mountaintop and create a slide. Yeah. Uh, take a slingshot, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad there wasn't any problem, though. I'm glad it didn't, you know, like burn the kitchen yeah. or anything like yes. that. Yes. So, yes, you're all right. So, Christine Fryer is here. And uh, McGrill. And is it Leah Salva? Leah Salva. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, who else is coming? Earth Star is here. And Hello, so Jen Bowles, Barbara Nesper, Garnet is here. We're glad to see everybody. Wayne Rich, Linda Kennedy, uh, Love Bug Blues. Oh, I like that. That, I like that, sounds, name. That's, that sounds like a Volkswagen, a little blue Volkswagen, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, Rossi. Great to see you, dear. And Aiden Reads Tarot. Aiden, I got to meet Aiden. We had yes, breakfast I saw together. Him. Yeah. And Mar him and Marvy. That's so wonderful. Yeah, him and Marvy. We had breakfast together. It was great. That's awesome. Um, Sonia J is here. And we have L Lisa Niedemeyer and Joyful Journey. Fro uh, I said Froxy. Okay, let's see. Paula's, Paula's P1 is here. Sonia and Nana Heather. Good to see you. Hello. Imelda. This is so nice of you, Amelda. Thank you so much, my dear. Oh, and you have oh, she has reached you. out and done uh, some some prayer for us in the basilicas, and so she's just such a kind person. And I just mm -hmm. I appreciate Thank you very you. much. That's why I made it home safe and sound. That's why you did, Sherry. That's right. <laughs> Linda Ramsey's here. 
And Jules is here, and Kathy's guiding, guiding light, guided light, create love. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Wiki, Snow Wolf, Patty. Wow, wow you guys, we got seventy-three yeah. people here. Woo Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Linda Kennedy, Lisa Sather. Uh, wow, everybody. <laughs> Clarence, hi, Clarence. It's nice to see you. Um, who else have we got? Anybody else? We're um, rocking and rolling tonight. Yes. Mary Thornberry. Wow, I might just be just calling names out this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Annie Hamlet. CV CEV12. Good to see you. Eleanor. Moira. Holy mackerel. My father used to say, holy mackerel there, Sapphire. Yeah. Um, Wildflower Wind, Kathy Goodwin. Woohoo! Uh, a wiki, hi, Louise Fode. Thank you, everybody. I hope I got everybody. Boy, if, if all of you had write, written in there, I would have been, I would have been here. Um, a couple <laughs> hours. <laughs> I know it's it's really wonderful. So thank you for being with us. Oh, KK's here as well. Hi, KK. Um, yeah, we're really happy to have you. Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I had to miss my turn. So uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I, I've been on, but it was because. Keith went into the emergency room. So my sisters always are covering for me and I certainly appreciate it. And I, I love you for it. So thank you so very much for all the love that you, that you uh, show me. Um, I'm going to bring up a topic, which is embracing the crone. I had wanted to talk about that the, the week I had to miss. And so um, is, we're, does somebody we're all have their does somebody have their phone or something on? Because there's there's an echo. I'm hearing something. Yeah, I heard that too. Like oh, it might be them yeah. talking at Jerry's house. Yeah, they. My might brother's be. got his TV oh. blast and movies in the background, but they're like down the hall with the door shut. Okay. And he can oh, still oh, hear it. <laughs> Are they the deep? man's the man's deaf? Yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. Willow <laughs> says it sounds like a man. Yeah. Um. So anyway. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the crone time. I, there's a lot of people like Colleen, uh, who, um, her, the cool crone, she has a channel called the cool crone. Uh, we have the, uh, crone zone, uh, of lovely ladies that have that channel. And yeah. it's always been something that I have found to be very admirable. And it's, it's not an age. It is embracing the wisdom of being someone that's lived on the planet for a certain amount of time and yeah. uh, bringing your wisdom in and knowing that you're not the only wise one, that your sisters are the wise ones as well. So I thought it would be a wonderful uh, conversation for us to have today. And I would love to hear from all of you also in the chat, if you are in, uh, in that situation. We first have the maiden. Oh no, we have the, is it the child? Child, maiden, crone. I think, or it, the, it, it's a young woman, a woman who hasn't yeah. had her menzies, uh, a woman who is very young. And then we have the woman who has children. And so that's that's the middle sort of of, of the tri, triad. And, you know, many of us have children later in life. So, you know, we still- I think it's maiden mother crone. That's what it is. Thank you, yeah. Sherry. Yeah. yeah, maiden is the young girl. Mother is the mother, of course, and you can be a mother to more than children. Yes. So you know it isn't. It's the mother energy. So and it's the time period, but the crone is the wise woman, but she's always been depicted as this kind of a witchy, ugly, long nosed person, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't really, I don't see her that way. Uh, I'm really interested no. to see how you ladies feel. Uh, and some women are crones at an early age, Wayne. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Because their wisdom is something that uh, it's different than knowledge. Knowledge and, and learning is what we all go through. But wisdom is something that we gain from experience and those things that happen to us in life. And um, so while I don't want to come across as saying that we have to be a certain way because we're a certain age, and I know Val doesn't like it. If I say I'm old, so I'm not going to say I'm old. <laughs> but I am a pro. I am a pro. I'm with you, Val. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know, we're only as old as we think we are. Yeah, absolutely. I still think like I'm 20. It's the rest of me that cracks up laughing. It's like, yeah, go ahead, give it a yeah. shot. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> Absolutely. And and yes, we have Sin Crony here. And she says yes. it's meant to honor the crow, the crow and the crone, and maybe the crown. I love it. Beautiful. And I really think that's so. And welcome to everybody else who's come in. But yes, there's power in being a crone. There absolutely is. So let's see what our sisters have to say. So I'm going to let you go first, Marina. Have at it, girlfriend. Have at it. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I, I, really, I really enjoy feeling like I am the crone. Yes, part of it is I, I don't feel my age, not at all. I think that, you know, how old would you be if you didn't know how old you were? So I totally get that. But the um, the experience and, and the wisdom that has sort of found me over the years has been a blessing in so many ways, you know, that it's, it's an honor to... Um, to share some of those life experiences and to be able to come at it from a place of knowing, not, well, I imagine this is what it would be like or whatnot, but actually saying, yes, I remember when it happened to me and this is how I felt and, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to relate and all that. So I really, I enjoy it very much. And if I have a chance, I wear it proudly, you know, yeah. I'm That's crone. Really awesome. crone. It, yeah. 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 And and yes, Garnet, you're right. We get young as we get old. We do, we yes. regress. I love that. Yeah. Um, and it reminds me of that poem, When I Am Old, I Will Wear Purple. If you've ever yes. heard that poem before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um it I think we uh we are really who we always were uh, or should have been, but we were maybe too afraid to be. Uh, yes, you yeah. know, and, and everybody has a different a different feeling about that but thank you marina that's that's beautiful i love that and val who isn't old no. what do you have none of us are old none old of us in the mind now, <laughs> as much young as she is <laughs> who's ever gonna feel old i mean i've met people who are 40 and they're like they're 65 so no. yeah. we're never gonna be this group because yeah. we wouldn't right. be here doing this kind of thing if we were felt like That's we true. were old. No, you're right. Yeah. But I like what Marina said about you have all the experience under your belt so that as the younger generation comes along, your sisters, your younger sisters, you're going to be able to share experiences with them from a place of knowledge, not just from a, oh, I think I can talk to you about this, but this is from the going through life and this is a rich time to be able to share all of that wisdom <clears throat> mm -hmm. and I don't think of the crone as being um, an age either but rather a state of mind just like Ali said because that's where you have like when people hit their 40s and they let go of I don't care what anybody thinks this is how I feel about this. And this is the way right. it is. This is how yeah. I'm going to show up. And I'm wearing jeans to this dinner. You know, you, you, you just are, give yourself permission to be your authentic self to a huge degree. Maybe yeah. you, before you weren't and you thought, Oh, they'll like me better if I dress this way or that way. Well, now there's none of that. You just show <laughs> up and they either like you or they don't, you don't <laughs> care. Right. <laughs> so there's a lot of freedom in being the crone, mm -hmm. freedom to live authentically because you appreciate yourself. You absolutely stand in that place of power and knowledge mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of that sacred wisdom that you have learned over time. Mm -hmm. So this is a powerful place to be um, in that mindset, in that um yeah. Place. So that's what I have to say. I love that. Um, I want to share some things that have been said in the chat, but I, I wanted to say that sometimes also, depending on our situation and whether our mothers are still alive or we've had a difficult relationship with our mother, it might be nice that we could bond with someone who is not, let's say, blood related and are willing to listen to how an older woman might explain things and learn from that um, if, if there was a, a tenuous relationship or even if your mother has passed and you can 
talk with a woman. Um, you know, you had a good relationship with mom, but you you were able to sort of have a new mom. Uh, I guess is the best mm -hmm. word. And mm -hmm. I've had several women, they, they haven't been a mom to me, but they've been like an aunt or, you know, mm -hmm. a, 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 an eccentric aunt. But I look at my mother when she passed, she was my age and she had gray hair. Her face was full of wrinkles and she always wore polyester. And I love my mother dearly, but this is the way our mothers looked when we were growing up and they yes. felt old. And I know my mother would say to me, you know, oh my God, you're wearing that? if she was still, <laughs> because, you know, it, it, it's generational. So you know, um, my mother was like, she colored her hair. She wore uh -huh. lipstick and eye makeup and she wouldn't leave the house without looking like a million bucks to go to right. work even. So uh -huh. even to go yeah. to the grocery store. So my yeah. mother was extremely attractive and youthful growing mm -hmm. up. I never had the crone, the old crone, Kind uh -huh. of image for my mother. So yeah. maybe that's why I don't see maybe. myself that way. Maybe. You know, and my mother was older, although not by yeah. today's standard. She was 36 when she had me. So oh, my mother was, was 27. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. And some people's like uh some people's moms were in their 40s and and yeah. of course now, but now 40 is like the new 20 anyway. Yeah, it? it is. Yeah. yeah, it is. And I say 70s the new 40. Oh, yes. I like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm with you, Val. Yeah. So, so Kathy that. Goodman said I had my last child at 43, and I've never regretted it. Good for you, Kathy. Mm -hmm. um, that's mm -hmm. really wonderful. Amelda says, I still get startled when I see my reflection, and I'm no longer 20. <laughs> I see my mother in the mirror sometimes. It's like, what the hell are you doing here, Mom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, I see uh, my great grandmother in the mirror. <laughs> Uh, oh dear. Yeah. I look just like her. I'm like, oh my God. What are you doing here, Granny? Yeah. So uh Wiki says with age and wisdom comes the freedom to be who you are. That's beautiful. Brenda, yes. the woman of maturity. Yeah. Froxy says, I've never felt old even at 75. It's because I've never had children, so I still feel like a virgin. Go. I go. love that. See? <laughs> Good for you. I had to go to the Virgin Islands to get my virginity back. <laughs> <You're lucky. laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh Willows had mother figures that were not her mom. They have passed. You miss them. Yeah. There's something about it. You just feel like, you know, you can get you can get their wisdom and and just really enjoy it. So thank you uh for that. We're gonna go on with the rest of our panel, but um I think it's just as important to uh to, talk, to to highlight what other people in the chat have said. So Absolutely. thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Oh, Christine, your mom was 36 as well. Well, okay, that's cool. All right, Sherry, it's your turn, girl. Did you say Sherry? Sherry? Yep. Yeah, Sherry. She's got, you've got Let your- Let me own. unmute. <laughs> All right, that's a good idea. Yeah. Trying to block the TV. Um, uh -huh. Something I read years ago that says- um, I didn't, how'd it go? I didn't stop having fun because I'm old. I'm old because I stopped having fun. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. And the first time I read that, I think it was in my late thirties. And I thought, okay. And I had to think about that for a minute. I was like, yeah, that kind of makes sense because I knew women who were in their sixties and seventies, um, who you would never have guessed were in their 60s and 70s by the way they dressed, mm -hmm. by the way yes. the things they did, as active as they were. And I knew other women who were barely hitting 50 who were like, you know, Grandma Moses sitting in the rocking chair. <laughs> yeah. and never got up. It was like, well, I don't want to be like that. And uh, I think the, I mean, I'll be 63 in, in June. I think I'm the baby here. Yeah, baby um, you are. And uh, uh, I um, I still think like I'm 20. I mean, yeah. like I said, the rest of me laughs and laughs, but my brain still thinks I'm 20 years old. And I'm like, oh, I can do that. And then I get ready to do it and realize, oh, no, I can't do that anymore. Um, yeah. But uh, I think the, the, the biggest, I guess, epiphany for me is when I hit my mid-50s. 
And I suddenly felt free enough to express how I really felt about things. It was like there was no longer this barrier that I had to watch what I say or how I said it. Or it's like, no, uh -uh, y'all just going to get it as it comes now. Too, like, too bad. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. And I have found that the freer that I have become in that attitude, the happier I've become in just my whole person. I mean, not to say that I haven't had bad things happen or sad things happen, which I have, but um, I mean, my grandmother died just before her 57th birthday. Oh, so I've already outlived her by almost five years. And, yeah. and uh, but her mother, my great grandmother, the one that I look like, uh, she lived till she was 98 and would have kept on going if she could. I mean, yeah, uh, my mom didn't pass until she was up in her 70s, mid 70s. And that was dementia is what did her in more than anything else. Um, mm -hmm. But I just I I just find I love the fact that I can now flirt with good looking young guys and they don't expect anything other than me just having fun with them. And that's as far as it goes, because I'm like, you know, no, I'm not interested. I just, I just like to flirt. I like to be friendly, you know? And mm -hmm. so um, it's just a part of me that now has come back out again. You know, it's, <laughs> it's like bits and pieces of you coming out of the closet as you kind of embrace being the crone. Uh -huh. And the, the, the experience to go to, to learn how to flirt. I never, I never went to that school. And my mother was a flirter too. She she flirted, so I think I learned it from her. I didn't. Um, think my mother didn't flirt. Maybe God knows flirt. when I was a preteen, it was embarrassed me to no end when she would do it. I'd be like, <laughs> holding yeah. my face away, like not in public. You know? Oh my God, that would be. <laughs> she didn't care. Um, but um, I just I I I've, I've just discovered that. You know, with age comes wisdom. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel really good when I have someone that's younger who will come to me and ask, how do I handle this? How do I manage that? What What's your ideas, you know, or what do you suggest? I, it feels kind of nice to be on the other end of that. But at the same time, I can turn around and ask a younger person the same question when I run into something I've never dealt with before. Because sure. society has changed in so many ways. Reciprocation. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I mean, I guess the biggest thing is when I started my channel and started doing all of this for my students at school at the university, when it started getting out that Miss Sherry runs a YouTube channel, they were all just, they were more excited about it than I was. <laughs> they thought it was the coolest thing ever. I mean, I've got, mm -hmm. I still have one student worker who, proceeds to come in every week and inform me of where my account is. You have this many subscribers now. <laughs> you have this many subscribers. That's I'm like, cool. okay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> she gets yeah. the biggest kick out of it. So, you know, mm -hmm. um, it's wow. just, I, I like, I like the freedom that comes with being older. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, the freedom to speak my mind and, and I don't give a flip if somebody else doesn't like it, you know. You know, I get tough cookies. Go talk to somebody else. Do you but, give the one finger salute sometimes? No, I do that a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot with a little wave to go right along with, with it. Wave, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think as we get older, the more that we learn about ourselves, the more comfortable that we are with ourselves, the more that we allow ourselves to express what it is that we really think and we really feel without having to worry too much about, you know, the polite company or, you know, this is not how you should act and whatnot. It, mm -hmm. We know ourselves and it's like, I don't have to pretend to be something I'm not. This, this right. is it. And yeah. if you don't like me, that's okay. You don't have to. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. That's my, it's like, you know, this is me. Take me as I am or go the other yeah. way. I don't, I don't care, yeah. you know, but. Awesome. That's great. Well, thank you, Sherry. Sharon? Yes. Um, I think I felt the, the mantle of being a crone handed down when my mother died. 
Okay. She, I could go to her yeah. for, for anything. I mean, it, health related, she was so learned, you know, she knew so much about herbs and, you know, new, new agey uh, health mm -hmm. things, you know, before people are into health foods and all that and supplements, she was, yeah. you know, she was doing it in the, in the early seventies. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I felt really, I felt really orphaned when she died. Yeah. 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 And, I understand. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And thinking that, Oh, I'm the head of the family now. You're the matriarch now. I'm the matriarch now. I'm the <laughs> Irish matriarch. And uh -huh. I, I, I relate to Sherry because um, I know at school I was, I was, you know, I was called the mother hand because I took uh -huh. care of everybody else. But, it's, you know, younger teachers would come to me for advice and that sort of thing. But also at staff meetings, I would hear um, rumblings about what the staff was feeling, but they would never bring it up at a staff meeting. But yes. I always did. And they always said to me, Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up because I didn't care if someone didn't like me anymore. I mean, I was, yeah. I was solid to myself to know, you know, I'm uncomfortable. Whereas I spent many decades you know, very shy. I see the water, the ocean is. Ah, <laughs> oceans nice. are but anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, I felt much more comfortable in my skin. Whereas for many decades I did not. And, and now I speak my mind. Um, and, and um, I'm finding, like, for example, I'm in a fairly new relationship. It's just a year old. I find that, you know, I just say what I'm feeling. Uh, not, not with being cruel or anything, just saying, I'm mm -hmm. not going to sit well with me and I'll tell you why. And Good. so having discussions more than, than you know, arguments. Um, yeah, I, I feel very comfortable. I feel very settled being a crone. It's, That's it's, great. It's a great yeah time of life. I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, you I know, when you Val know, was talking about her mom always being yeah, dressed up, it reminds, it, I immediately flashed to Dolly Parton, who's yeah, what, uh, who's 80, uh, and the uh, woman is oh, still rocking oh, it. I mean, her. Perfect. Yeah. She uh -huh. just, you know, the Rock and Roll Hall and Fame told her, well, you've been nominated and, and elected to be a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And she kept turning them down saying, well, I've never done a rock and roll song. And they said, well, you've been chosen yeah, by the fans. Awesome. Said, yeah. Well, I guess I'll have to do a rock song. And she, she yeah. turned around, she just released it like six months ago. She did a rock and roll album, music. <laughs> rock and roll. And right. she, was, she was jamming. It was pretty good. She had a lot of these younger musicians that rock musicians and stuff that came in with her and of course they were all just flabbergasted that Dolly Parton would just sing their song with them. You know? sure. She's very and, uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's when when you it's like I want to be like that when I grow up. You know yeah. I, I, yeah. I want to be in your skin. Yeah. yeah I want to be able to embrace myself like that. Whenever I um have had people say what was your favorite age to be or what what if you could go back or you could be a certain age what age would you be and i said i would be me right now yeah yeah because i don't yeah. looking back doesn't doesn't change things yeah. And yeah you have to yeah i like who i am now i do exactly. i don't want to go back yeah i never look back i uh -huh. looking back is a word you know that's just yeah, not waste of time. i only look here and now or and going forward so yeah you know yeah, a few times I mean, when like, I've been asked that question, yeah. I just say, I don't know, I haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, I like being nostalgic and I like thinking back, mm. but I don't want to, I wouldn't want to go yeah. back. No. There was a I'm time not machine. nostalgic yeah. at all. It's oh, funny. you're not. Okay. Not at all. Yeah. I never think back, hardly ever. And it's, um, yeah, I'm not interested. That's it's me, boring. Brenda. It's boring to me. And that's probably why I don't watch reruns. And my husband loves to watch a movie three times. And I'm like, oh, honey, I've seen it. I can't I memorize it. It's in my brain. I don't want to see it again. That's I how I feel about reviewing all the past stuff. I've been there. Yeah. I've gone through it. And yeah. I remember every detail. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. So Brenda's mother wore out four husbands. And, and I've had four <laughs> husbands. So Brenda, I love your mother. I just yes. have to say, yes. <laughs> right on. Why not? You know why my mom never flirted? Because she was so beautiful and so put together. Even her clothes were just so elegant and sophisticated at the same time. She got flirted and hit on 24-7. She never had to flirt. 
ever. Uh -huh. Wow. So, I mean, that's another thing about just being classy and being uh -huh. um, your true self because it's attractive to everyone. Yes. Uh, yeah. My daughter always had, um, she was uncomfortable with men always hitting on her because yeah. very attractive, six one, and you know, yeah. beautiful woman. Uh -huh. and, and she, she said, I got tired of it. And it's yeah. always the ones that that approach you that you would never even consider, right? <laughs> They're yeah. It can be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the the ones that you'd really like them to approach you don't, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that sounds um, like. Sounds like I took a uh, ballroom dancing classes when I was in the seventh mm -hmm. grade. And that's the oh. worst time because you're in junior high. And I always got the fat kid that sweat mm -hmm. all the time. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I was the fat kid who sweat all the time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Oh, oh, my, my gosh. God. Oh, uh, Wayne says his mom used to get dressed yeah. up to go grow up. My mother my did too. My mother right? remembered oh, yeah. the time when you had to wear gloves oh, and a hat yes. to go yeah. out. If she was going to San I remember school, that. He would be embarrassed if she didn't have gloves <laughs> and a hat, just like a stewardess. You know what I mean? We can't conceive at that time. But yes, in the 50s and yeah. even early 60s, men were still wearing hats and women were yeah. wearing yeah. hats and gloves. Oh, yeah. oh. So she I remember when my mother would take us shopping downtown and yeah, it was in your Sunday best yes. with your gloves, yes. your yes. black oh, patent yeah. leather shoes, yeah. your hat. Yeah. They'd so be mortified go downtown and go window shop. In their pajamas <laughs> going into grocery stores now. You see that all the what? time. My mother would be mortified if she saw that. Oh yes. my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was reading an awesome. article just the other day about um, airlines and the dress codes with airlines and, and whatnot. And some people get taken off for what they're wearing. And I thought, oh, my gosh, I remember when air travel was an event. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah when you, oh, if you were flying. Yes, you were. You were dressed to the nines. You had the high heels you had the whole work oh yeah um, it's yeah. like you were having tea with the queen right you were on your best yeah. behavior That's and right. now yeah some of the things that i've seen on flights now i think Ooh. you'd be shocked and, yeah. and you know to marina's point i remember about uh two years ago reading an article where a man a, a very big sports star was in his leisure you know, suit. Well, uh -huh. well, we'll call him no. His athletic suit. Oh, um, you know, sweat in the top. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. he couldn't get his. They wouldn't let him in his first class seat. It was either United yeah. or I think it was United. They wouldn't yeah. let you him. You know in that if you get a free flight, if you're flying as a representative of the airline, like if a friend yeah. gives you, you yeah. have to dress up. You there cannot you wear things like that. No, yes. in fact, I think he had uh, all the p airline people who ever rode in our plane were all in their uniform sitting back. Uh huh. And still, yeah. you know. Yep. But anyway, they, refused, they mm -hmm. refused to let this um, sports figure yep. in. Wow. And he paid for his first class ticket. And I'm like, in this day and age, well, I mean, granted, you know, OJ granted it was about history. it was about 20 years ago. But I mean, remember when OJ was in the Hertz ads running yeah, in yes. the air, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, running through the airport <laughs> yeah, with, his, with his suit and tie and his hat, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Linda says, uh, I like that, Val. I'm 73. I think I'm 40, but my body says, Who do you think you're kidding? That's yes. and I, I answered her. I hear you, Linda. That's oh, you me. Did. There are times my body betrays me with the aches uh, yeah, and pains and whatnot. It does. But, it does. Yeah, Given it wings, does. I'm glad that you are enjoying the conversation. Thank you, dear. And uh, Blue see. Diamond. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Moira says, uh, Croning is great, except for her SI joints. And I love mm -hmm. that. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, my son, over the, the weekend traveling back across the country, in the morning when we would get up in the hotel room, and he would stand up with his, uh, and he'd say, I didn't used to make noise like that when I moved. I said, yeah, it was involuntary. I said, I used to think, why do old people make all that noise? Yes. You have no control. It just no. comes out. Yeah. I realize how much noise like, I make when there's other people in the house, and I go, oh, yeah. I'm being kind of noisy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. And my daughter will be 47, and she uh, is like, Mom, did this happen? And how come this, no. you know? And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. 
<laughs> well, I was naughty. I was naughty the other day and well, actually yesterday as well and ate the wrong foods and I'm, uh, feeling, I'm feeling it today. <laughs> yes, I bet. I bet it, that that does happen. Hi, Miss Tarot D. M much love to you. Hey, Thank hey. you for coming in. I know you can't. Hi, Miss Tarot D. Yeah, yeah. Nice to see you, dear. Mm -hmm. uh, consciousness doesn't, doesn't age. The body does. Mm -hmm. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I look at, I look in the mirror. I'm sure you all do that and go, who is that person? Where did I get this yes. from? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I can uh, look at my, 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 my mindset. Over my eyelids, it's getting more hooded. And I go, oh, I see my, my father's mother, my, my grandmother. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, maybe just a little tuck here. Yeah. Like yes. Pull back <laughs> here. <laughs> And my son my just looks at me and he's like, Mom, stop. Yeah. My mother you had a dear friend who yeah. lived in Florida and she was in the sun all the time. This was in the mm. 60s. Mm. And she had a facelift five or six times. So she had big knots behind her ears. Her oh, my oh my gosh, really? I know. Oh, yes. God. In the 60s. Is that what happened? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. my God. It was awful. Yeah. Oh it was God. like she had two big, you know, um, warts or something back there, you oh know. Oh, I've never heard of yeah. such a thing. I, I, I had a colleague who had a facelift, and it was about seven years ago, and she's the same age as me, same birthday, same year. Mm -hmm. And I did, I almost didn't recognize her. Like, it felt spooky. She just, it felt very eerie because it wasn't her. Yeah. yeah. Because if you don't get a good plastic surgeon, you won't look like you. Yeah, you have to make head. sure they're really good so that yeah, they do. don't pull your face the wrong way yeah. and make you look <laughs> different. Yeah, you yeah. gotta yeah. just yeah. take a little bit of the loose skin out, but still retain a little bit of loose. age. Yeah. Yeah. If they pull you, if they mess you up, <laughs> I've seen they them. do it right. You look like Dolly Parton. If you if they do it wrong, yes. you look yes. at what happened Dolly to Kenny Parton Rogers. Really, it, Dolly yeah. Parton looks like Dolly Parton. And she's that, never, she does not look bad. Yeah, she's had a facelift, but she, no. she looks she's the first one to talk about it. <laughs> she looks, yeah. she's she not looks afraid. like her normal self, like she looked yeah. when yes. she was 20. Just a, a better version of yourself. Yeah, so that's, yeah. you yeah. want her plastic surgeon. Exactly. Yeah. That's what yeah. you want to do. So I love Ron DeForest. We're so glad you're here. And Wayne's here. We have a few men here. Thank you for being here. And we don't want Brave you, to, souls. Feel, yeah, you uh, to feel like you are neglected, but you're 55 and people look at you when you stand. I, they think you're dying. I love that share. But you know what? Older men, they, they're distinguished. They and are. And they're yeah, and we they become the, hags. Do you think that they're? Do you think that they have the crone thing they going? They do. In a, in I was just way? yes. Yeah? I was okay. just thinking about that, and I really do think the stage is quite similar for a man. They go through a period of that. You mm -hmm. know what? I'm good just like I am. Yeah. That's after yeah. they go through the. Oh my God! I'm retired. Who am I? Stage, yeah. yes. Yes. and then when they figure out who they really are, then they become this elegant and lovely human being that can share mm -hmm. all their wisdom and experience. So, yeah, I think they go through that. <laughs> Ron, you're fine. Uh, well, plus this, I don't think older Not men very age distinguished, Ron. <laughs> well, you know, I'm always picking on the hair in the ears and in the nose. That's the thing yeah. with men that I'm always. And, and you they can don't clip that do. out. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Get, get those plucked out. And you hair grows when you get older. That it is does. the truth. And Everywhere. You wouldn't think. <laughs> it grows in places you never thought it would grow. I don't care if you're male or female. It's like. Uh, uh, right. Right. Wayne says he's not distinguished, he's extinguished. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, you're wonderful. And Wayne and his wife are Renaissance people, so I love they, that. They are they lovely. Are I met them a uh, year and a half ago. They are, oh, what yeah. you see is what you get. Yeah. Well, That's you fun. have to be pretty fun to do the Renaissance fairs. You do. And dress up and enjoy all of that. That takes a you know a childlike enjoyment. It does. So, it does yeah. very much. I like so. what Synchrony wrote. <laughs> what I, I hate is haggy chin hairs. Yes. Yeah, the mm -hmm. chin hairs. Yeah, they just all of a sudden it's there. But yesterday yeah. it wasn't. <laughs> Today yes. it's like. 
is there and it's like two inches long. And you're like, how did I miss that yesterday? Because <laughs> it wasn't yeah. there. <laughs> Yeah. Or, or the worn eyebrow hair that just oh, kind of, yes. you know, just grows. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Yeah. These are the it, things it, that it's like women go through menopause and men go through sports car phase, you know, where they mm -hmm. suddenly start dressing 20 years younger and no, go out and get themselves an expensive sports car. I got a little sports right. car at age 50, and I had men making fun of me. Oh, are you going to your middle age phase? <laughs> middle age crisis? No. That's when you wave at him, Sharon. That's when you say read between the lines. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I've never wow. been able to have one, and I can have one now. So there. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. ego, but they get past the ego stage after they learn who they really are and drop all that faulty roll mm -hmm. that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, um, yeah. That's like becoming wow. a teenager all over again because in their second childhood. <laughs> oh, God, who wants to do that? That was a nightmare. Yeah, they get tired of it fast, and it would be over. That was a nightmare when I really was a teenager. I don't want to go back to it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ron, you were a blast, honestly. You yes. can't afford a midlife crisis. Afford a midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, we want no. one though. I mean, come on. Yeah. That just it's a crisis because you think, well, have I really lived the life I was supposed to live? And then you look back and go, Oh man, I haven't, I'm not where I want to be. Well, yes, you right. are. You're right where you yeah. need to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you know, we have more time than our parents really. Yes. Did. Yes. Yeah. 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 Brenda do. says here that she got her license, uh, motorcycle license at age 55. I was 53. Good for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, never too late. Um, no, yeah. no. So yeah. it was always on my bucket list, and I thought, it, I thought, when am I going to do this? So, I think we did well, it. you know, I didn't really care for this person, but George H. W. Bush jumped out of an airplane when he was yeah. like eighty-five or something. Oh, you know, really? so yeah. yes, he did. Yeah, and so, um, you know, good for him. I mean, I, I don't have to like him politically to think that that was a a really yeah. courageous thing to do. Yes. Or to do very my yeah. my father did bungee jumping when he was a senior. Oh, and he says, wow. you know what? And do you know what I said? I said, you know, when he when he went over and he just what it came out of his mouth, I said, Geronimo. He mm -hmm. he said, no, mama. Yeah. <laughs> I would have flung the F word probably. Yes. That would have flagged <laughs> my mouth. Yeah. 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 That's for sure. I have no desire well, to do that. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I thank you all ladies. I, I think this was a great topic and it seemed to mm -hmm. sort of resonate with both the men and women in this audience, because mm -hmm. certainly the men are living with Crohn's I'm sure not Crohn's disease, but <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not. No, hopefully not. Yes. But, um, yeah. And, and, and those of you who are too young yet to be Crohn's, it, mm -hmm. there's something empowering It'll about it. Up, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. Like you'll wake up one morning and you'll look in the mirror and you'll go, who's that old lady looking I back at me? <laughs> I know, I do it all the time, Sherry. But you know, I've, I've come to terms with my body. Like I keep wanting to get rid of my muffin top. And now I'm going, like, <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. That's, that's what you'd say about, by the time you hit this age, about her, um, get, getting plastic surgery, it's like, oh, why? Why put why yourself wanna... through that? Well, you know, why do that to yourself? It just, no, no you're good. I agree. You're just good like you are. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's really interesting is that my dentist wanted me to get braces because I have really crowded teeth and they, were, they really need help. Yeah. And I said, I'm not going to have that. I wouldn't have wanted it as a kid, but there ain't no way I want it now. Why would I put myself through that at you this age? You wouldn't put yourself through that. Yeah. You wouldn't look like Allie. I mean, no, you well, that, that's we don't even like, notice your teeth anyway. Well, <laughs> Freddie Mercury, you know, had hey, huge mine come out and soak in the jar every night. So there you go. Y'all <laughs> can't complain, you know. No. <laughs> Freddie Mercury had huge teeth, and he no. wouldn't get them fixed because he didn't want his voice to he change. Didn't. He Who's didn't. Want them fixed. Yeah. 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 But, but, you know. Same with Barbara Streisand and her nose. Uh -huh. See Over that? the years, so many people want her to go get her nose fixed, and she was like, "No, I'm not going to do that." Over my voice, yeah. woman, just like but it is your personal yeah. choice. And she's Brenda really, made the choice, but, but not you know for what? me. She's, yeah. she's beautiful, just it's like she beautiful is. Beautiful. And her nose is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think yeah. Really she's just had braces put on. 
Yeah, yeah. no. So, you know what? Everybody's good like they are at the crone stage. Yeah. 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 I like this stage better than I liked any of the other stages. You know, today I, on to be my, honest. On my island that it's it's spring. It's finally we're getting sunshine. It's it's been a mm -hmm. really cool winter and early spring. And it's still the temperatures aren't seasonal. Um, but found said hello to so many people that I hadn't seen in years. Like we all came out of the wood woodwork. Oh think, nice. And yeah. I thought how and we're all older, right? We're all at the same age and and uh, just nice to see each other and yeah. And, oh, you're still alive. Yeah, and that and that, you know, you've had history. I mean, it's not looking back, but just that you've we've all been through, you know, yeah. the same sort of stuff. Yep, absolutely. That's when you know. I I remember saying to somebody, "You and I went to high school at the same time," and they're like, "We went to high school together." I said, "Oh no, yeah, but you went to high school when I did, and you knew all the cool songs, and you exactly. knew what the fashions were." There's some kind of a connection that we have in that in our in our age group that not any other age group really they have it in theirs, you know. So yeah. it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, honestly. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So do we, we do have a question, I believe. And uh, Marina was going to put it up for us so we could read on it. Was it just one? Was just one yeah, question? It was, it, it was just just the one. Uh, All right. That's fine. I think what we might do after that then is uh, we will pull the card for the collective crones in the audience here and uh, the gentlemen that are as well. We'll just give our message today to everybody because uh, we don't take the questions in the chat as you, if anybody's new here, uh, these are conversations and we take them. And unfortunately, some of us forgot to forget to post it on our, even me. So, yeah. Sorry. It happens. I blame everything on retrograde now. Oh, thank you. That's my standby. You know, yeah, yeah the, the coffee's <laughs> gone cold, retrograde. You know, dinner you is too salty, retrograde. It's, Yeah. Yeah. So this was from Rose Blue, and she uh, she wanted to know: Will more fraud uh, committed by Sarah Huckabee Sanders be found? She's now under federal investigation for lectern gate. That the lectern that she yeah, yeah the, the, the lectern. Have you, the Arkansas have you, state inspectors uh, made a request. I think it was to the DOJ to. Uh, to investigate and file charges against her. For I, I, there was a picture, some pictures of her. I think it was on Instagram, and it was there were three pictures of Sarah in these three different weird dresses, with big, you know, like uh, like it looked like the '60s, and she had cowboy boots on. And I thought she has no sense of fashion, even if no. she was trying. You know, it was no. unbelievable. Thank you, Brenda. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, quick. Let's remind everybody. Double check your subscribe your subscription list. Yeah. Uh, last night I was I was watching Marina and her guest, and looked down and saw I was not subscribed to her channel. Oh, I put I've it been up there on her my channel for years. Mm -hmm. Yes. And. When I said something in the chat, like five people said, Oh my god, I just same thing just happened to me. So yeah, go yep. through and double check the people that you know you've subscribed to and make sure that you're still subscribed, that yep. YouTube didn't kick you off for whatever reason. I have know? to tell you though, if you're going from the link in the chat to subscribe to someone's channel, you will be booted off within two or three days. Yeah. That's just the way it works. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. you can l take down the name Heart Center Tarot, and then when you're done, go over to Marina's channel and subscribe. But I had t at least ten people told me they were dropped off mine the other day. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah, I yeah. And I can tell you, my subscriber count has not changed in the last five days, which is really unusual because yeah. yes. generally Thank does. You. Yeah. You know, it goes, it yeah, stay flat, something's up. Yeah. 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 There's just some weird stuff going on. There right is. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. So do we do these one at a time or uh, th there's almost, there's two questions there or is it? No, no, really. Just it's, it's just one. It's just one. one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, All right. Will more uh, fraud be committed by Sarah Huckabee well, Sanders? Okay. Be found. Okay. 
more All right, Marina. Down, more fraud. We'll start with Marina. Okay, okay. so yeah, well, well, will we get more? Uh, I think so. I get judgment. <laughs> uh, okay. So okay. yeah, I I think uh -huh. so. I get judgment, and and I get, oh yeah, oh. they're gonna. There's a oh. lot. It's a coming. Yep. Hello. Yes, it's coming. Yep, Sharon. Oh, the seven of wands. All right. That's a battle, isn't it, Sharon? She's going to be defending herself. Oh, defending yeah, herself. You're, you're muted, Sharon. We yeah. can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, she's definitely going to be doing the dance, defending herself. Yeah. 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 I pulled the hermit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, more well, that's investigation. What, that's what happens when you have to rethink it all. Because... <laughs> It's not working. I have here that she she has a lot of guts, uh, and she does have a lot of guts. She's kind oh of a big God. lady, but anyway, um, aside from that, she's tried a lot of things. And w the one thing that I think she should be investigated on is what fourteen years old children can work in factories or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I know. I That's awful. Yeah. It's yeah. so oh, I can't oh. even. It's so horrible. Uh huh. Yeah. Garnet, it's the twenty fifth is when Mercury retrograde finishes. But remember, there's always a shadow time. So yeah, yeah. a yeah. little before, a little after. Yeah, right. And you know what? Yeah. Um, I just that this was cute. Patty D. Um, let me see. Hold on. I will get rid of that one and we'll put this one up. She says, yeah. Friend of mine was going to go in a 60s crew. She thought they were dressed like back in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> so she bought all these mod clothes, you know, yes. white boots and mini skirt. Yeah. Well, she was the life of the party then. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that that is hilarious. I think that uh -huh. absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And yes, Proxy, she does. Oh, you and I did at the same time. Oh, Marie. That's all right, okay, Marie. Well, Marie well, has, <laughs> has my controls, and that's fine with me. But we were doing it at the same time. And all right. Yes, you she cancel does each other out. Yeah, yeah, she is angry and mad. Yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah. she does look at herself in the mirror and go, oh, but she should. She, she, you know, when she I always looks her, like she's been sucking on a sour grape or something. Yeah. I don't know. I, th I think she had her eyebrows done and they made it, they did a real bad job. She looks like she's sneering. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Do you remember, La it wasn't this year, it was the year before when she gave the um, um, rebuttal to uh, Biden's yeah. State yeah. of the it's Union? It, oh, it, my God. It was yes. a hot mess. It was. Yeah, it was a hot mess. That's for sure. Wow. Yeah, that, you know what, there's, it, really, I think that you're, What's reflected, what you reflect out to others is how you really are on the inside. Because mm -hmm. okay. I have I have seen people who, you know, initially, if you look at them, you would, you know, you would think, well, they're not really that attractive. But the more that you get to know them, the more right. that you can see the person inside, it's like they get better looking. Oh, you know, I, I, I agree, yeah. Marina. Yeah. I agree. With, and beautiful with, people yeah. that when you get to know them. The more you get to know them, the uglier they become. It's true. Yeah, it happens. And she, yeah. she is one of those people that I think, you know what? You're, you are miserable, and it shows in every single part of your face, your body, whatever. It just shows misery. She doesn't love herself at all. No. 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 Well, when she was the first uh, secretary. Uh, press person for 45 the guy that hid in the bushes she was so <laughs> she was she and i hate to talk about people's looks because we we look like what we look like but it was like nobody had ever shown her how to put any makeup on or anything she was just a solid and then Scar yeah. scaramucci came in and within like a week of him coming in, suddenly she was like made up and whatnot, you know, and actually looked better. And I thought, huh, I wonder if his people just decided to, you know, pull the plug on her, pull the plug and 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 corner her in the bathroom. Eleven days. Yeah, 
yeah. that's true. Exactly. That's true. Yeah. All yeah. right. Proxy. So, um, yeah. Why can't people just be nice? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, um, Lady G, Lori Hunsinger. Everybody know about Lady G. She's going through some health She's issues. She's back in the She's hospital. We're going yeah. to have colon surgery tonight at 10 o'clock. So please send prayers her way. Mm -hmm. um, she's a fabulous member of our community mm -hmm. and she's been going through a really rough, rough time. So yeah. um, yes. absolutely, Lori, thank you for letting us know. Mm -hmm. And I just want to send out lots of love to Lady G. And God she's bless. so concerned about her fur baby. She loves her puppies. Well, I don't blame her. I'd be yeah. feeling that way too, you know. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to pull one more card today for the community uh yeah. energies or crones or whatever seems to come out here so yeah here we go and jill i found this out this really helps your skin if you can go to bed you put it on before you go to bed oh my god yeah i wish i knew about it well i don't look back never mind Okay. <laughs> castor oil, you say. Castor oil. Castor oil. That's right. They've been glowing about it all over the internet. It's yeah. blowing up about castor oil. So oh, yeah. yeah. It's true. The tr it's yeah. the truth. Yeah. It's the truth. I it nourishes says. your skin in some yeah. way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just happen to have some on hand. Yeah. I have oh, some you can spray on. I love it. It's like, yeah, ooh, that's this nice. Is easy. Nice. Okay. nice. Yes. Okay. All right. So who so, went? Uh, Marina? Okay. Oh, the Hierophant. The Hierophant. Okay. That's uh, pay attention to what's going on. Um, don't, don't believe everything that you see and hear. Do your homework. Double check. Find out for yourself. Go to a couple different sources. Go walk in. Go walk in now. We are going to go she says to him. <laughs> My brother walks through the house singing all the time. <laughs> I mean, we got a rock star. So, yeah. you know, you one of the reasons why I have curtains now is because one night I was on and he walked Thank you, in, his undies, his naked or in, his underwear. <laughs> in his underwear. And I'm like, Jeff, you're on air. And he's like, oh, okay. So. And went on about his business. <laughs> He has no no embarrassment for it. <laughs> Look at that. So this is transformation. Um, oh, this is what well, this I like is that. a reminder. We all go through periods where we, we transform. It's part of life. And so yeah. this is for us to remember. What is a crone? It's all about transforming from the uh, mm -hmm. mother to the crone. And that is a beautiful thing, as we've all discussed here. So mm -hmm. more than that, though, it is something happening to all of us on the planet now, M men and yeah. women, all humanity and Mother Earth. Beautiful. So embrace it as a normal thing and just let it happen. Let it rip. There let you it go. Rip. <laughs> uh, I took my Oracle card from Secrets of the Ancestors by A. Uh -huh. I just got mine. <laughs> yeah. Are you the card of the month? Uh, you know? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I my mm -hmm. box. Anyways, I love it. It's the shaman, but doesn't that look like, oh, oh, sorry about the sun. How am I going to do this? There um, it is. There, there it is. we go. Okay. Uh, but if you look closely, it's a woman. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yes. the, the old, there, there's the crone. But it yep. says, uh, it says the shaman, trust the path. Yes. Yeah. Surrender. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Thank you, well, Karen. I decided to pull from uh, Radley Valentine's new Animal Guides Tarot deck. Oh, yeah, this is really a great deck. And I pulled the Nine of Water, the Pomeranian. <laughs> and it says, yep. now's the time when your dreams come true. Don't worry about how it will happen. Just give gratitude for all that you have and all that's still to come. Mm -hmm. wow, a lot about releasing and that's surrendering. That's manifesting 101 right there. There you go. There you go. And what did I get? I got, uh, don't be afraid to make a change, regardless of how, how how hard you perceive it to be. It can be fun if you allow it and let go of your resistance to it. Don't worry if it's a bumpy ride. And Sherry's got a bumpy ride to talk about later on on Saturday. But let it go. 
Let it go and That's right. take the bumpy ride. You'll get there eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. That's well, I had a lot of fun. I thank you, ladies. You're always me too. Pleasure. You have a lot. I missed y'all one week out, and I felt like I was cut off from everybody. <laughs> I get it. Yes. Get it. And next yeah. week, I believe it's your week, isn't it, Sherry? Next week. I, I next think week so. so. It is. It's Sherry. Yeah. It no, is it me? Yes, it mm -hmm. is. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, it's me. Uh, we're going to leave with Ron's question. What is the male version of a crone? Can we be crones if we embrace our female side? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yep. You are a official male crone. There you there are. You go. We there we go. Here. Yeah. We <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Make it a beautiful night for you. Good night, y'all. Good night, everyone.